Hi everyone, my name is Sai Venom and I'm a developer advocate with IBM. Today, I'm excited to introduce a three-part video series on hybrid cloud architectures. Hybrid cloud is a concept that's been around for quite some time, but we're finding that it's becoming increasingly used to architect and modernize existing or legacy applications. According to research, we found that 75% uh, of non-cloud applications will be moving to the cloud in the next three years. This goes to say that if you're not already thinking about your hybrid cloud strategy, you may be falling behind. If you want to learn more about the basics of hybrid cloud, check out my Hybrid Cloud Explained video where I cover the basic concepts of all hybrid cloud architectures. In this three-part series, I want to dive deeper and hit on key concepts that make up a hybrid cloud architecture. And to do that, we're going to start with part one of this video series, which is going to be Connect. Connectivity and interoperability are core concepts of hybrid cloud architectures. You can imagine that you have existing applications that may be running on-prem, working with maybe a private cloud, and you can also imagine you'd be taking advantage of public cloud as well. And you have services that are running across all of these environments. We need a way to securely connect them to one another. So taking advantage of solutions, open source solutions that we have, things like Linux-based containers, Kubernetes, um, Istio, as well as uh, multi-cluster management tools, message queues, brokers, you know, the list is endless, but there's a lot of solutions out there when used properly help you hit that connectivity that you need with hybrid cloud architectures. In part two, we want to talk about modernization. So we'll be switching gears a little bit here. You can imagine that with existing applications that you may have, uh, you might have a monolithic application that you want to break apart and move to a public cloud. And that might allow you to take better advantage of scaling uh, that, that public environments offer. That's a very simple use case and, and one of many uh, when it comes to modernizing your applications. In part two, I'm going to hit on strategies to modernize those legacy applications, which is a core part of hybrid cloud architectures. In part three, we want to talk about security. We're finding that you know, every year you're hearing about a different data breach, and we're hearing about privacy regulations that are becoming increasingly more strict being imposed on companies. The fact is, moving to hybrid cloud might scare some folks, but we have the right solutions to ensure that you can take advantage of your existing on-prem assets, the security, uh, and, and the ease of use that you have there, while securely moving some of your assets to a public uh, or even a private cloud. This allows you to kind of have the comfort of taking advantage of all the resources you have on public cloud while still maintaining the security that's required of your architectures. I believe that this three-part series is going to help tackle the three major issues that you may have when architecting your hybrid cloud applications. As always, we're always checking for your comments and your feedback. And if you have any other topics that you'd like us to cover in lightboarding videos, please let us know below. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for future videos in this series. And if you want to get started on your hybrid cloud architecture journey right now, go ahead and check out some of the links that we have below and the videos that we have lined up. Thank you.